Iz says, what's the ruling on watching the Turkish drama series Ertugrul? This has taken the whole Muslim world by storm and Muslims are watching it and they also tell others to watch it and tell people that this is filled with Islamic values, spirituality, etc. <clears throat> First of all, claiming that Muslims are all watching it is an exaggeration. There are Muslims who still abide by the Quran and the Sunnah. The Prophet والسلام, said in an authentic hadith, Islam started as something that is strange and it will revert at the end of times to being strange. So give the glad tidings to the strangers. In the beginning, when Islam started, it was the Prophet himself and all others around him were idol worshippers. Then, a few years down the line, the whole community, the whole region, almost a great chunk of this world are Muslims and they abide by Islam. There will come a time where they will shrink in number, not necessarily in their labeling as Muslims, but rather in their quality as true Muslims, as true strangers. And this question illustrates this fact. Now, this drama called Ertugrul, it's a Turkish drama. Whether it's a Turkish, Egyptian, Syrian, Moroccan, it doesn't matter. As Muslims, we don't look at the quantity. Oh, 100 million people watched it. Oh, this person has 200 million followers on social media. It doesn't make any difference or any, it doesn't have any value. What counts is what is recommended and preferred by Allah Azza wa Jal and what is not. <clears throat> Therefore, we come to this drama. I personally, praise Allah Azza wa Jal, I have not seen a single clip out of it, so I don't even know it. But I have heard it from so many Muslims, unfortunately, saying that it's good, it's this, it's that. Now, the basic questions. For Muslims, I'm not talking about non-Muslims. I'm talking about practicing Muslims who ask to know whether it's halal or haram. So we look at it from a perspective of whether it's halal or haram. Now, does it have music? They say, oh, definitely it has lots of music. Okay, does it have free mixing between men and women? They say, or is it only men? They say, no, there, there are few women here and there, but they're decently dressed, yet they're there. So this renders it immediately to be haram. Now, I know a lot of the people would say, oh, Sheikh, this is too extreme. Akhi, who determines whether it's extreme or not? Is it me? Is it the scholars? Or is it the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the three favorite generations, the Tabi'een, the, the companions, the Sahaba Tabi'een and Tabi'i Tabi'een? <clears throat> so if it has music in it, and if it has free mixing, Islam tells you that this is haram, even if they're teaching Islam, let alone that they may also teach innovation because some of the brothers, and I don't remember whether this came to me through a question, or someone was telling it to me face to face, that in these series, they have innovations in their dhikr, in their ibadah. They have also maybe some sort of more than such innovations if it's related to visiting the graves and seeking help and refuge in such graved people. They, they call awliya. And we know that this originated nowadays when we go to such countries, we find this shirk in front of us. We find these innovations right in front of us, giving the adhkar before the adhan 
reciting Qul Hu Allahu Ahad, Qul Hu Ahad, Qul Hu Ahad, and doing the congregational dua after, and the dhikr after the salah. All of these innovations started from when? From this, 200 years ago, 300 years ago, which is not related to the sunnah at all. And they, that is their leaders, hate the sunnah and fight the sunnah because it opposes what they're teaching to the people. Therefore, I would say that if you are interested in abiding by the Qur'an and the Sunnah, you should stick to the Qur'an and to the Sunnah. And don't be fooled by the number of people talking positively about such things. They talked before it about the series of Umar. And maybe tomorrow if they make a film about our Prophet ﷺ and they depict him, they would probably go with the flow. And this is not how we Muslims think and believe in Allah knows best.